If you found an old wooden bat in your basement that you weren't even aware of, would you realize that it might have some value? One family did. Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. So, uh, Attic Find Friday, back again for 2024. I have a story or two to share early this year and hopefully we'll continue to find some more. Uh, so this is actually a basement find, so a, like sell, seller find Saturday, maybe. In 2014, and there are slightly conflicting stories here about how this happened, but a family found a, uh, an old wooden bat in their basement. They're just outside of Boston in Massachusetts. Ken Golden tells the story, apparently, that uh, a picker was given access to the home, and this picker went through the stuff in the basement and found this. All the other news stories, though, say a family found it in their basement. So it's tough to say for sure what happened, just like with a lot of these. I think a lot of these are just marketing, like they, they tell a fun story so that it gets headlines, but we love those anyway. It was actually a collection of old, old game used bats from a century before, uh, almost a century anyway. And one of them was a bat that had Ruth printed on the, on the barrel in block letters. And uh, so they did some research and they discovered that in July of 2018, Babe Ruth signed a contract with Hillerich and Bradley, Bradsby's bats to produce bats and all of those would have his facsimile signature on the barrel. So before that, the Hillerich, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Hillerich and Bradsby bat company would produce them with just Ruth on them so he knew which bats were his. They also know that based on uh, the logo, the Hillerich and Bradsby logo on the barrel of the bat near the Ruth, they started this logo in, in 1916. So somewhere between 1916 and July of 1918, this bat was produced and it was used by Babe Ruth, they believe. And they have some pretty solid evidence that it was. First of all, the size of the bat uh, was uh, 40 40.5 ounces, and it was a 35.75 inch bat, 35 and three quarters inch bat, which matches what Ruth used in his early career to hit with. It also had cleat marks on the bat, and Ruth was known to uh, bang his cleats off on his bat at that time, like I'm sure a lot of players did, but so they felt that this gave credence to the idea that this was this made it or confirmed that it was a game used bat. At the time, in, 19, in 2014, this was one of, only one, one of only two Ruth game used bats from 1918 or earlier. There are a lot of Ruth game used bats. If you just Google Ruth game used bat, bat for sale or something like that, there are a lot of them, dozens if not more. Uh, and they all sell for varying amounts. I'll talk about one of them in a little bit, but this one was believed to be maybe the earliest ever. Uh, now, there was also one found from uh, 1915. In 2017, it went up for sale. It was unsold. And I couldn't find any other information on this one, but this, this uh, the one that I'm doing this video on is actually believed to be now the, the second oldest game used Ruth Bat. One thing that bothers me is, so PSA DNA authenticates these, of course, and then they give them a score, like a GU, and then a number GU stands for game used. But then they put a sticker on the barrel of the bat. Uh, what do you think about this? Let me know in comments. Does if The sticker looks way out of place there. You've got a century old piece of wood and then a red and white and blue sticker on the barrel. It looks really bad to me. That's just my opinion. So did Ruth use this bat to hit a home run? It's possible. Ruth, in 1916, he was 21 years old. He played in 67 games for the Red Sox. He hit three home runs. They won the World Series that year. In 1917, he was 22 years old. He played in 52 games and he hit two home runs. The next year, 1918, he was 23. He played in 95 games for the Red Sox and he led the league in home runs with 11. And this was the beginning for Ruth. This was one, the first of his 12 times leading the league in home runs. I think the, 
The next year, in 1919, he led the league with 29, if I remember correctly. So is there a chance that he hit a home run with this bat? Yes, but it's not like he was ripping the cover off the ball in the 19-teens. It wasn't until the 20s when he got moved to Yankee Stadium and power became more a part of baseball that he really started hitting a lot of home runs. And if you were to buy a game-used bat, there's a decent enough chance that he had hit a home run with it. Of course, that year, 1918, the Red Sox won the World Series again, as they would many, 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 many more times that century. No, of course not. They, they then went on an 86-year drought until 2004. We won't talk about that as a Red Sox fan. So this bat for this family just outside of Boston, Golden was proje- projecting, predicting uh, 350 to $500,000 that it would sell for. It actually sold for just over 200000 which still seems good to me a decade ago, but I don't, you know, I'm not really that familiar with the bat market, but it just is just a fascinating story to me that you just go down into your basement and you have a bunch of game-used bats from a century ago. The house, by the way, was 150 years old. So somebody, who stored these bats in there? Who, was it a bat boy from the Red Sox? Was it a clubhouse manager who kept bats from players from one of them happened to be Babe Ruth I would love to know that backstory that's just that would be amazing incidentally Ruth uh, the, a game used Ruth bat from 1921 photo matched to 1921 and believed to also have been used in 1920 fetched 1.85 million dollars earlier well I guess last year now 2023 it was a it was rated a GU10 game used 10 by PSA DNA. Uh, 1.85 million dollars is the most a bat has ever sold for, or as of then, I think it still is. I can't imagine any other bat coming up in the last nine months selling for more than that. So that's that for that story today. Uh, I love these. Obviously, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Would you if you if you were to find a wooden bat in your basement, what would you do with it? Would you know? Oh, I should, I should see if this is, could be worth anything. I like the idea of somebody finding, like 100 years from now, my old softball bat, my metal softball bat, and saying, oh, maybe Mike hit a home run with this. Actually, they would know better. I never hit a home run in softball. I, had, I hit one off the top of the fence one day, and that was the closest I ever came. I had some inside-the-park home runs, but I was an opposite field singles hitter. So, uh, yeah, not... Not a great hitter in softball. Uh, That is all I have for you today. I have uh, some interesting videos this week. Well, definitely one on Saturday. And then I'll probably do another Clearing the Bases episode Sunday. I was going to go to the card show in Portland, but it's been canceled. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a great weekend.